Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey, fish family, welcome back. Welcome back to Tabata Aquatics. This is part two. This is the second half of the uh, unboxing. As you can see, I'm sweating, I'm wet, I'm soaked. I've been moving fish around and doing all kinds of stuff uh, like I'm supposed to. All right, so right now I got some tanks filling up, so I'm going to be looking back behind me periodically to make sure I'm not overfilling them. Um, let's see what we got. Go here to the un unboxing number two. I showed you all in the other uh, part one. I showed you I have a, a stingray. He's uh, in this tank right here, floating. Uh, I'm going to float him first, and then I'm going to drill back and make him and then put him in there. Um, he's going to have a, a roommate because I think that it might be necessary for this one fish. I'm not certain. Um, we'll see what it is. So, uh, I'm wondering what the size is going to be on these guys right here before I make a decision where I'm going to place them. All right, so what we got here? All right, so, look like we have a baby Zabrina Pike. Remember y'all, uh, I had bought two baby Zabrina Pikes and I didn't do it right and I ended up uh, losing both of them. So, we're going to try this again. All right, I'm not gonna let y'all down. We're gonna, if y'all been following me on this journey to raise uh, two Sabrina Pikes. And let's see, this guy here, what is this? Uh, look at that order. Oh, that's right, I remember what I ordered. Um, this is alleged to be, we're gonna see, this is alleged to be a carpetus, uh, a carpetus cigarette. We're gonna see what it is. Let him cuddle, cuddle up a little bit and see what he is exactly. Um, because the, the carpetus cigarettes, I bought seven of them from Matt from Cigarette Dojo. And they are brutal towards each other and they killed each other off until I just had one. So that roommate of the, uh, the roommate of the, uh, of the Stingray is that one survivor carpetus that I have from Sigma Dojo. I'll show you what he looked like in there uh, in a minute. Let's see what else we got here. The horn. So we got one Sabrina Pipe, one Parker Cichlid, and here is number two Sabrina Pipe Cichlid. Little baby Sabrinas. Okay, so we. I think this is uh, something special to do because uh, most people, overwhelmingly most people, uh, they only see Sabrina Pipes um, as adults or large juveniles, semi-adults. So, there is bring pipe number two. And here's the third to bring the pipe. I'm only going to keep two of them. One of my order for a buddy of mine because he had, he had one about the size and he wanted another one to grow out. So, of course, I'm going to pick the, uh, the, the two best ones to keep for myself. Sorry, <laughs> I ordered them. <laughs> my score, bro. I'm just letting you get in on my score, bro. I am going to be, I am going to be fair to him though and kind because that's the, that's the brother that uh, that's the guy that I'm uh, purchasing uh, that other 125 gallon tank that I'm going to stack on top of the the other one that I just um, set up, and I'll show you that stuff. So this is a clown knife okay it's the clown knife clown knife all right in case y'all were wondering why i keep getting clown knife fish um they keep dying on me to put it frankly uh the only clown knife fish that grew big you know i had any success he was huge is that monstrous clown knife that i had i mean he was a monster he was like Two and a half feet. He was a monster. If you look at some of my earlier earlier videos, uh, you'll see him in there. And I lost him when this tank crashed. I had an issue with this uh, 350. But I, I, I started raising him when I didn't even know what I was doing, <laughs> and I raised him successfully. And now that I quote unquote know what I'm doing, I cannot successfully raise the uh, royal clown knife and the albino clown knife. 
both of those two keep going down on me. The royal clown might keep down on me, the albino clown might keep down on me. If anybody has any advice, please call me later. I'm sorry, please message me, leave a note, a message to let me know what you think. Give me some, some advice. I keep looking back and make sure this water's not going to overfill. But I figured I'd go back to just getting a regular clown knife because I, I'm thinking maybe they just might be more hardy. Okay. You know, not only are they way less expensive, but they might be just that much more hardy because I had no issues, no problems at all raising the regular clown knife fish. Uh, I didn't have no problem getting it to eat, getting it to come out, uh, protecting itself, eating from my hand, uh, growing, growing fast, healthy. I had no issues. They never had any disease or anything. The only time I had a problem was when it died, when this tank crashed. So, um, uh oh. Um, give me a second, y'all. <laughs> Alright, I cut it off for now. But anyway, that's why I got a, a, another clown knife fish. Alright, so in any case, um, that is it with this um, unboxing. And hold tight, I'll show you where I'm putting them at uh, after I acclimate them and stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and acclimate them and stuff. I'm not going to show you that process. Uh, we can go through. I, I've already did a video on acclimation. We, I'm just going to show you these guys once I uh, get them in the tank. Alright, hold tight. All right, there you have it, fish family. This is uh, the Sabrina Pikes. Y'all know I love my Pike cichlids. Uh, let's get that on. And there's two of them. There's one. I got them in separate tanks this time. If you guys remember the last time uh, when I did this, I had got two of them and I put them in one of these tanks together. The large one killed the smaller one. And then um, in my desperate, desperate, and me being desperate and my desperateness. Um, I sincerely just wanted the, the, the other pike because they're so damn expensive and I love them so much. I wanted to live so bad that uh, I overdid it and put a wave maker in this little small tank and it created too much current for him to fight against and stressed them out and that killed him. So I lost both of them like real quick fast in a hurry. So lessons learned. Um, didn't, I, I wanted to, but I, you know, I didn't want to buy like three or four of them because I got a, a lot of pikes and I don't want to like, I don't want that many unless I plan on doing something significant in the future, like going to all the bring of pike mega tank or something like that. But two is enough. I just want to document uh, raising these guys and share share this with, with you guys and, 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 and you know just document raising. Because they grow up to be so beautiful and uh, majestic, and you know, I just thought it'd be a very interesting thing um, because I've never seen anybody do a video. On, uh, I've never seen on video anybody even have Sabrina Pikes this small. Um, so we're going to document raising these guys so that in the future, somebody who's looking for this type of information, this type of content, they will find it right here. Okay. I'm thinking of names for them. Uh, I was thinking teeny and tiny, but that's so damn corny. Um, we don't know what the sex of these are yet. Um, a lot of people can't tell the uh, sex of the Sabrina Pikes, but I think I understand uh, how to tell the sex because honestly, the, the male's head is more robust and he's more red and colorful in the throat. Um, yeah, so these guys got some growing to do and some coloring up to do before we can figure that part out. Um, so we're gonna have to come up with some, I don't know, it's just hard, you know, they, they're small, you know, they're a little teeny, I can't name them teeny in time, that's just too difficult for me, but they're just little, they're little hips with the hook. Aha, I got it. There you go, got it, right here, right here. Uh, hip, and squeak. There you go, squeak, there you go, squeak. Hip and squeak. Well, hip squeak. <laughs> Ta-da, we got names. Pip and Squeak. Alright y'all, so y'all gonna please stay tuned and keep following and watching the growth and development of uh, Pip and Squeak. Alright? This is one of my other um, Zabrina Pikes that I have. This is the male. I'm gonna try to show you real quick before these 
geophagus uh, come over and start photobombing because every time I come near the tank, they think I'm, I'm filmed. And this is a female. See, she's not as red in the throat and uh, her head is narrow and, um, you know, she don't have the big robust head. Her head is narrow in comparison to his and she's not as red in the throat as, as he is. That would be the female. Again, another look. That's the male back there. See how red he is? How red he is in the cheek and the throat. And his head is fat and robust and thick. You know, um, that's how I can tell uh, the males versus the females as far as the Zabrina Pax is concerned, okay? But they gotta get some size on them before you can, you know, eyeball them like that because uh, when they're real small, it's, it's really hard to tell. When they're really, really small, they have to be adults or close to being adult size. And they're not full grown yet. Um, they still got some growing to do. That's why they're still in this tank. Because before I introduce him to my other tank with the big boy, um, I don't, I don't want to put them in a situation where he whooped their ASS and uh, killed them. My big Zabrina Pike. That's my big boy, and I don't have those other, and I don't have those other two guys that that male and female. I, I don't have them in this tank with him because. Uh, he will chase them and chase them and chase them because he's the big dominant guy and they look just like him and I don't want him to kill them. So I'm gonna let them get some more size on them and, and then introduce them in a the tank with him. But right now we're just gonna let them get fat and happy, okay? But that's um, one of my other uh, Zabrina Pike. That's my big boy right there. He's beautiful. This is the, ver the very first Zabrina Pike that I've ever gotten. And he's absolutely gorgeous. He is a beast. He's about, uh, I'm going to call it about eight, uh, somewhere between 16 to 18 inches. He's long, he's, he's bigger than, than you think he is. He's long. Well, y'all, um, thank you very much for checking me out. Um, I got, uh, it's been a while. I haven't been uh, filming anything uh, in, in quite a while. So it's going to be a lot of content y'all going to see coming your way uh, back to back to back to back because I have so much to share with you guys, okay? But uh, this is it for this video. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you hadn't subscribed by now, please subscribe. Uh, at least consider subscribing. Uh, please do leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, please share, all that good stuff. And uh, as usual, until next time, happy fish keeping. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wa barakatuh.